Wow. At the end of the day, I root for them, and I want them to be as great as they can be. When I was in Cleveland, I rooted for the Browns, which I still do today. You know, and it's tough at times. It's okay. Yeah. And I right. root for the Indians. And obviously, you guys can go back and see how we were oh. at those awesome. games. Show you me know, a better, show awesome. me a team having more fun you know, than baseball. Show, you know, we root for our we we root for our respective clubs because when we win and we all win, it brings so much more joy to our communities. Mm -hmm. Just a positive, just a positive influence. Now that I'm here playing for the Lakers, besides the Clippers, I root for everybody. <laughs> I was like, See this coming up. Yes. <laughs> You've touched the basketball twice. <laughs> Yeah, season's coming, up. season's coming How up. How are we going to get through this with COVID, dog? Hang on. There's a – okay, what? there's that. that but there's also, like, the team that is not here any longer. You have your guys that, like, just recently in the last, like, Yeah, week. so yeah, – You didn't I even mean, get a summer to rage with them. I know, right. So, I, I got to give a shout-out to yeah. Danny Green. Yeah. Ray John Rondo. Mm -hmm. Dwight Howard. JaVale. JaVale McGee. Quinn Cook. Um, Quinn Cook, yeah. You Who's know. Who's my – Shut up. <laughs> Edit. Kuz, I'm kidding. Shut up. I'm kidding. Yes. God, Kuz, come way, on. Kuz, Kuz just put out an ad uh, yesterday, too. He about, did. Yeah, he put out a good ad. He put, um, yeah, you know. No, he, no, he's Kuz. You can't say Kuz that. Tweeted. Kuz, Kuz tweeted. tweeted. Yeah, yeah, Kuz, Kuz yeah. Oh, uh, Laker fans give out, uh, uh, Kuz give out PSP, and they singing and apologizing. Right. Kuz, that right. was funny. A yeah. lot of respect on that. Yeah, so, you know, Dwight I Howard, JaVale McGee, Ray John Rondo, Danny Green, Quinn Cook, obviously, um, we don't win the championship. And RJ know what being a part of a championship ball club, no matter if you play zero minutes or you're 30, 40 minutes, mm -hmm. that all ties into one because we all challenge each other every day. And it's times where the vets don't want to practice, where those guys who haven't played, they have to practice to keep it going. Um, so um, I wish Rajon well in Atlanta, Dwight and Danny in Philly. Javel back in Cleveland. Yeah, yeah. Yep. dope. And Quinn, I, I mean, he's a he's a pro. He's gonna he's gonna find. A, he's definitely pray, gonna get a He's spot. definitely gonna get a, 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 a look. Um, hopefully back with us. We still have two roster spots. Hopefully we may bring him back. So, yeah. um, so kudos to those guys. Much respect. Love those guys. When you win a championship with a group, it goes on forever. You could talk about it for the rest of your life. And then I move on. To dealing unfortunately, with COVID. but fortunately, yeah, to my new teammates. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy as hell to have Big Mark Gasol, uh, who Laker Nation, first of all, know that he was traded on draft day for his older brother. Yeah, he <laughs> was he's supposed to be a Laker. Yeah. Do you think Powell's coming Laker. out? Do you think Powell's coming back? We see. <laughs> we see. Maybe, I mean, we see. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We see. We have Powell Mark, who play? was traded on draft day. Because Mark is going to be in year 20 now, right? Because I was seven. I played 17. 13. 13. What? Not Mark. I mean, Powell. Oh, Powell. I was going to say. Me and yeah. Powell yeah. were the same draft class. Yeah, That's Powell was what, 01? 01? Yeah, we were the yeah, same 01. class. So yeah, that would be 19, 20? Yeah, so yeah. he's got to be 20. He posted that video the other day on Instagram. I didn't see out it. in the gym. Oh, okay, okay. Some okay. Shots. So, yeah. you know, happy to have uh, Mark, another champion. Yeah. One with the Raptors two years ago, who I've always loved. Yeah. Mark has my defensive player of the year trophy at his house, but <laughs> yo, but, I, but, 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 but that's no here or there. I, no, 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 that's not but, a knock on Mark. But I, this is the thing because like you know, sometimes we don't. I love pay you, Mark. I can't we wait. To, I can't wait to talk about this. We don't pay attention to stuff, but like when you brought that up, like you brought it up, or somebody brought it up, and I was like, "What are you talking about, defensive player of the year?" And then I saw. And I saw that, like, Marc Gasol didn't receive, like, any first-place first, votes. No, he was second. First team yeah, votes. Yeah. He only received every third uh, third team vote. But then that had vaulted him with enough points accumulated to be the – I was like yeah. – I was confused. Look, not that – because this was weird. Not that Memphis wasn't a great defensive what? team. What? They was a Ryan, monster. They were a monster. But it was like Tony Allen, Zach, him, like, like Conley. They were loaded. But it was like he got all the credit. And so, like, I didn't know. And I'm glad you brought that up. But yeah. continue. But – I'm extremely excited to have Mark, nevertheless. Wesley Matthews, who yeah. I've loved to compete Great against. Guy. And his father is a former Laker as well. Oh, that's dope. So we got two guys. Trez. We got two guys who have family Laker ties. Yeah. And then we get Trez. I'll Trez it. <laughs> no, we got Trez. I'll Trez it up here with we the Laker. Thought it, we knocked through. So basically, Trez was the next door. Six six man 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 First of all, Trez was the next door neighbor. We knocked through his door and said, uh, do you like Yeah, he said he felt like the right Clippers here? didn't like what was going on. How did Trez We knocked through his door the and we landed Trez. I mean, the That was honestly like the moment of free agency where everyone was like, what? Yeah. Yeah, including, including some of his teammates. That they, they actually put that on social media. That's not like I'm making it up. It's what? <laughs> We got Trez, who six man of the year award winner, who's going to help our bench, which what? we we struggle with. 
our, this past year with our bench, <laughs> you know, and keeping that up. And then, <laughs> then you've got the runner up. And then we got the runner up, six man of the year award, and Dennis Schroeder. So who that was a pickup. I call his nickname. He might, I don't know if you like it or not. We have not had the conversation, but he's Dennis the Menace. Dennis the Menace. Because I love what nickname. he brings to the game. His tenacity. He's a dog. You gotta let him go. He gets under the skin. He's a Richard Jefferson, Draymond Green type <laughs> guy. Where if he's your teammate, you he love the out of him. If he's not, you can't stand him. <laughs> That's not funny, Sonia. Hey, by the way, it's not and Sonia, funny. Uh, she understands exactly what I'm saying. If he's your friend, you love him. If not, you're like, oh my God, get this jerk away from me. <laughs> I love Dennis Schroeder he's and good. what they're going to bring to our team. And um, can you all repeat? We can. I mean, it's that simple. I mean, we absolutely can. Like RJ said, with the Nets, first of all, it all starts with health. Yeah. You have to. You have to have some luck. And you have to have health. If we can stay healthy. Um, but we did get younger. Um, we got the 27-year-old point guard. We got the 27-year-old six man of the year, Warren Trez. Um, you know, we, we got IQ younger. with Mark. You know, we got Mark, who's a defensive player of the year, and his IQ playing against, not only playing against him in the NBA, but also playing against him versus Spain uh, yeah, yeah, national team. Five. You told us we had 90 minutes. We've gone 210. Yeah, but I mean, what you got? Well, we, we had a okay. we had we call, a potty we call, break. We, call, we, call, we, 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 got, we got the bubble. We got this upcoming Upco season. We upcoming got Upcoming season. How are we going to be able to do this? And I don't mean this in yeah, a negative I, I sense. Talk, I want to talk so about four, We got four Christmas games. We can see that it's progressively getting worse. Preseason game one in 13 days. What? Is it really? In yes. 13 days. And LeBron James has touched the basketball twice. Yeah. I, mean, I think he's going to be okay. It's going to be three times after I touch this, uh, this green one right here. <laughs> um, I'm going to touch that one. Um, Preseason, I'm not quite worried about. <laughs> I am rounding 36. James uh, Worthy is going to be really mad if he comes into this studio and has to talk about basketball without you. <laughs> Listen, big game, James. I love you. <laughs> Hopefully see you in the studio. Uh, we're going to have a stogie together. Uh, we still need to have a championship stogie together for sure. Toast to this, uh, to this tequila. Um, that's nor here nor there. We say that for the side, but um, I, don't worry about me in the preseason. Nah, it's not. I'm not worried no. about you in basketball. I want to know, <laughs> as an individual that pays attention to this stuff. Yeah. Like, how is it? Like, we watch now. It's like you see all these college football games getting canceled, canceled yeah. postponed. Yeah. And college basketball is like, we're ready to start. Right. It's like, no, you're, right, not. Right. you're not. No, you're no not. one's and, starting. And it's, 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 college basketball has done what they needed to do. They just went literally. They would send teams to an area for ten days, and they'd get three straight games in. Yeah. So um, that they could like limit the travel time. That's actually like, they're smart. Doing it what is smart. They can. It is smart, and and um, it's very smart. So uh, I'm very intrigued on seeing what what what's the protocol is going to be. Um, we have, we there's been discussions, there's been talks. Um, they wanted to make sure that we can get the season going. Um, obviously for a lot of different reasons. Money. Um, <laughs> the biggest <laughs> reason. Um, but but the safety of our players yeah. and the safety of our owners and the safety of our GMs and the safety of our um, coaches our, our coaches and, and, and you know so um, you know training staff and things that, that that's, that's more important than anything mm. um, it's 111 I always catch that 11 11 and 111 it's tattooed <laughs> on my hand yeah okay yeah it's weird you know but you um, stop saying Yes, I still got to stop saying. Yeah, yes. I'm still not stopping the drinks. So but I'm very, matter. I'm very intrigued on seeing how how they how they deal with this because we all know that COVID is still very active. It's actually, and, and they actually told us that in the winter is going to be more active than any time, and that's what we're in right now. Yeah. You know, either if you're seeing snow or not, this is the winter time, and it's and it's picking up steam. So, um, well, I just want to see. I, I want to see how we how we tackle this. Why well, the schedule is supposed to come out? Are and you see the NBA? They but it know. Comes out in part. Yeah, they say it's coming out in part one, part two stuff, and they were saying like teams are going to come and they're.